What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Scrap Mechanic, and today we're looking at an epic mechanism that I don't know why I haven't been using up to this point. This thing is going to change every vanilla creation and pretty much every piston-powered engine we ever build. In the last video, we looked at torque and piston-powered engines, and I tried to beat that challenge, and I failed. I'm gonna go back to it and re-beat it, because now I've learned so many things. I feel like we could dominate it with a proper piston powered engine but anyway in uh, a video we did we did some best builds and in one of those best builds we saw a piston powered unicycle with this weird mechanism on the side of it this weird disc thing and then i got a lot of comments for you guys so it keep them coming the comments are always great i love hearing what you guys have to say but you guys gave me a lot of comments that said it's actually a trammel gear and then i talked to a few people in the scrap mechanic community and they showed me what it's all about and oh my god Tremble gears are amazing and then I went down this like really bad like Wikipedia rabbit hole where I started looking at all these different four bar mechanisms and four bar linkages and then like there's like grasshopper linkages and stuff that we're gonna there's a lot of stuff we could do that's really really cool anyway this is an Archimedes Tremble and this is the essentially uh the the premise of how this Tremble gear works so this is a, a Tremble which it basically goes back and forth two sliders go back and forth now I had to do it with powered pistons because of you know scrap mechanic things but essentially these two sliders go back and forth in these grooves they're connected by free floating bearings and you can see this outer piece goes around and it actually makes an ellipse and the ellipse math can be calculated based on the distance each slider moves now these are symmetrical but you'll notice how far the chair goes out there versus how close the chair is here and uh, of course it depends on like you can see the length of the member changes right so here the member is from you know the full center point would be there and here the center point is less this distance uh here right less that cool yeah makes sense it's awesome dude this stuff is this stuff is the coolest freaking math anyway it draws an, an ellipse uh so let's just let's just prove that real quick let's put down some cardboard and theoretically if we put down cardboard and we attach a spud gun to it on rapid fire uh, it should draw a perfect ellipse in the cardboard all right pretty simple setup yeah we've got the uh the tremble here set up no problem and then of course we got a spud gun on a ticker uh so now if we activate this it should draw an ellipse and if we let it go enough uh, it should eventually cut everything else off. You'll notice we are going to go faster through this section. And if the math is all right, then the radius on the sides should be the length of this member minus uh, the little section between the two uh, tremels, I guess. And then the, the big side should be the full distance of this white piece. And uh, that's how we can calculate our ellipse. But it'll always draw a perfect ellipse, you can see. It's basically drawing not an egg shape, but an actual a proper ellipse. I don't know if this is actually... I'm hoping this will just completely cut off the outside. Anyway, this is a, it's an ellipse draw. Now, why this all matters is we can actually use this same mechanism, and if we mount the rotation point of the secondary axle as a fixed point, you end up with, like, an Archimedes Tremel gear. Now, it's weird. I tried looking up this online, and I, there we go. It, oh, now we just destroyed the game, but there you go. See? Perfect ellipse. Right? You ever want to carve out an ellipse? Just make yourself a Tremel, and boom, done. Perfect ellipse. Apparently, this is what they were used for, you know, it's it's not really the gear, but yeah, I tried looking up some Archimedes gears online, and I found a few examples of them, but they're not really that common, and I guess the reason why is they have a fair amount of friction, and they're probably not as good as just using an actual gearing, but anyway, this is the Archimedes treble, so this is the exact same setup as that, kind of, uh, imagine these yellow pipe pieces are the sliders that go back and forth, and then you can see we've got the grooves, uh, but instead of the sliders being powered, we rotate the grooves, and essentially you end up with this. And it might look weird, but let's sync up those two white blocks. So if the white blocks are both on top, you'll notice the black wheel is going to spin once for every time the yellow wheel spins twice. Yeah, see? Once. And there you go, twice. Twice. So every time. It's a one to two ratio. This is wicked cool, and it's why in that piston-powered challenge, they gave us those component kits to work with. So of course, I hooked up three of them. Uh, and again, we're only going to power this front bearing. So every time we do this, we're getting a gear reduction, which means we have to spin this front bearing a lot to get the back to very, very, very slowly spin. And you can see, look at that. So we have to spin that front like crazy. And this is what I was talking about in terms of generating torque. If we build this setup, which, you know, we don't have to use all these pistons. There's a lot of excessive pistons there. But if we build this setup, we're actually generating, you know, uh, this is a one to two, and then this becomes a one to four, and this becomes a one to eight. So by the time we're done, we have a one to eight gear ratio, and we're actually reducing it like crazy. So for every one time that back one spins, the front gear spins eight times. So if we have our piston engine powered up to this, theoretically, you know, we should be able to generate a little bit more power out of the thing. And then of course we can go in the opposite direction, 
and we could do it, you know, oh, in this case, yeah, sorry, we're powering the very back one now, so we're giving it literally, like, no power, and the front one just spins, like, super quick. The cool thing about this is they're built completely in vanilla. It's not really the most complicated thing. You can build it on your lift without any sort of issue. And I don't, don't get me wrong, I'm not claiming any sort of credit for this. This is completely inspired by your guys' best build. But of course, I want to hook it into this piston engine of mine that's just terrible anyway. Uh, but you know, it's really, really cool what we can do with vanilla. So this, this gear system, like, I know I'm going to use it to do some challenge pack. Look at how fast that is. Yeah, this is where it starts to freak out. I think it's a little too fast for scrap mechanic to handle but you can see we can do some crazy stuff in terms of torque increasing with these tremble gears and i don't think they have too much slip so i'm really excited to use these i'm gonna go back to that piston power challenge for sure in a later video i i gotta work on my piston engine skills first so anyway i spawned in this piston engine it's terrible i know shut up don't worry about it it's really bad i get it it works though like look like you know we push this it spins one way right we push this it spins the other way. Fantastic. Okay, it's a functional, it's a functional thing. It doesn't meet the standards of proper piston engine etiquette, but you know, it is what it is. Anyway, I'm going to hook this up to some basic wheels, uh, just so we can actually do a really quick example of this. And uh, I want to basically hook this up to some wheels, and then I want to put a tremble gear in between this and the wheels, um, which means I'm going to need a transaxle somehow. Okay, I didn't really, I didn't really think this one through. Or we need two trammels, one on either side. You know what? That's what we're gonna do. It's literally gonna be a speed test. I mean, theoretically, if this is actually a proper two to one and we're not losing any power, then the entire thing should just go twice as fast with the travel gear, and uh, you know, but generate half as much torque. I mean, theoretically, I don't, I don't really know how torque translates in scrap mechanic, to be perfectly honest. But here we go. This is just gonna be our base test, straight line speed. Roadster. I'm not going to bother with any sort of steering or anything. We are just going to kind of let this go. Uh, and we'll put it on a switch. And hook that into there. Oh, right. There already is a switch. Perfect. We'll just put a chair on it. Just so we can check, you know, how... I mean, I'm pretty sure I know how fast this goes already. Like, it's not... It's not great. Alright, so I, I scrapped that previous design because I realized I need all the designs to be as close to each other as possible in order for this to actually be an appropriate sort of test. So here we go, we've got the first one. This is just the standard piston engine. You know, I can go forward, I got some steering, whatever, it's fine, no big deal, that needs to be flipped. Uh, can you stop sometime? And then of course we've got one with the trembles at a 1 to 2, so this one should have uh, more torque. You can see it, it wanted to do a wheelie right away, but it should be really, really slow because it's got a 1 to 2 gear reduction. And then of course this one is the opposite where it's got a 2 to 1. So theoretically, we should be able to take this one, which has a 1 to 2 ratio, and just turn it on with the switch. These have zero ability to steer. Uh, there is no weight on the front axle, so it just goes, it pretty much just goes straight, so that's, that's nice. Um, that one's apparently still just going on its own for some reason. Is it, is it seeing its own? What do you, what do you do? Okay, well that one's just gonna go on its own. Anyway, I need to work on my piston engine skills, so we should theoretically be able to catch up with this one. It should be twice as fast as all the others. And then what I want to try and do is put the half torque one in a pulling competition against the one that's twice as fast because theoretically the one that's twice as fast should have like half as much torque or a quarter, quarter, no half as much torque, quarter torque. Oh wait, no, this is four times as fast. This is twice as fast as the regular version, four times as fast as the slow version. Yeah. So we're going to really, we're going to really fly here. I need to add some weight to the front or else we're never steering. Let's just grab a brick here. Yeah, well, we just, this is amazing. This is all in vanilla. You could build this in survival mode. That's the crazy part about all this. Um, this is just going to be really bad. There we go. Now we can probably turn, right? Barely. Awesome. But yeah, we're, we're twice as fast as the regular one, which is kind of broken anyway. I think it should, <laughs> oh my god, this is so stupid. It's like the, the launch of the, uh, the, I don't know, the weird piston powered creatures. I don't know if I can catch this if it goes, I'm going to turn you off for a sec. Let's turn you on. There we go. Now you're, you're, okay. Well, now this is, yeah, you just, great. Great. Thanks. 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 You're going that way now. All right. Uh, this one's not really kicking into gear. It's interesting. The one that has less torque, you actually feel it. Like the piston engine has to really get up to speed. But when we start doing piston speed challenges, this is going to matter because now we can gear down in vanilla in challenge mode using these tremble gears at a 1 to 2 ratio. And it's kind of amazing that this works the way it does. Of course, I need to build better piston engines just in general. 
But yeah, we're we're theoretically four times faster than this guy. The other one's just long gone at this point. This is awesome. I can't believe how well this works. It's really quite a cool mechanism. And the fact that you can do it in vanilla is great. I mean, I know there's mods with gears, and there's all sorts of gear mods, which I'm not sure which ones are actually good now, because I know there were always some issues with the way they collided and stuff. But either way, uh, this is just... It's amazing that you can do this in vanilla with such a simple principle. And, uh, you know, kudos again to people in the Scrabcad community for figuring it out. And then, you know, all the people in the comments... Who actually messaged and explained to me because it I was genuinely confused in the best builds video I thought it was some sort of like friction wheel or something and it was like no the guy had just put a tremel gear on the side of it so that it would go like way faster and that's just incredibly brilliant and uh, look at how much faster we are I know this piston engine sucks but I mean like you know we're still way faster anyway the last thing I want to do is I want to have a pulling contest between these two this one's the one with more speed and this one's the one that has the tremel with more torque so theoretically the torque one should win by a mile so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to extend a member off this way put a bearing on it uh like so and then just extend another member off that put a bearing on it and how many is this one two three four put another one two three four like that we'll lift this up and theoretically weld this to the same spot right so in theory we can now connect uh, let's just disconnect this here, connect these both up to the same seat. So we're in the craft with more torque. I'm gonna have to take the weight off the front to make this an even test. We're not really looking to compare steering of any capacity. It's just who can out pull the other guy. So theoretically, switch one activates this one. It'll drag us very- oh my god, I don't know what's happening there. Okay, well, it'll theoretically very slowly drag us in this direction. And then I think the piston engine, it gets- it gets fought in a bad way. Uh, but we're going to activate both at the same time. And if physics is correct and Scrap Mechanic translates everything, then theoretically, if I hit 1 and 2 at the exact same time, the second engine, number 2, should just drag us backwards. It has four times the torque. We're a little bit offset here, which I don't think is going to matter too much. But anyway, let's see what happens in 3, 2, 1, go! Okay, well, we both just wheelie like idiots. That's, that's, okay, we need weight. Alright, here we go. This is some weight. And three, two, one. Okay. They're both spinning wheels. How is this one better? Th the answer is I think we're just not getting the traction put down to the road. Think, I think that's the issue. This one's spinning slower. This engine is spinning at full speed. Look at that. Look at this is where torque matters. See, this one's spinning at full speed and these wheels are slipping harder because this one actually can't get its engine up to full speed. That's so cool. But it's not it's not it's not looking good for for Mr. Physics. What if we what if we add more wheels to generate more friction? Will that work? I, the the test should be theoretically if they both have the same amount of friction, then this one here should drag like crazy. This is torque 101, but I don't I don't know if this is going to work. Let's try it again. Here we go. Oh yeah, no, it just needed more friction. See, more more wheels. Now this one can't even do anything. This is the coolest thing. I can't believe this works. Like, I okay, I understand it works. The physics makes sense because, like, you know, in real life, gears, you know, gear reductions, if you go one to two, then it generates more torque because torque is related to RPM and blah, blah, blah. So if you're doing, you know, 6,000 RPM on the motor and you're putting it to 3,000 on the wheel, then that means each revolution of the wheel has two revolutions of the motor. It gets double the power per... per it makes... It all makes sense. But, like, it's cool that it translates to scrap mechanic. It's cool that this actually works and this engine has no chance at all. So this is how we're going to beat the Piston Power Challenge with Tremel Gears. That's why there's component kits in the challenge parts, and this is amazing. I can't believe this works as well as it does. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. It's sorry, a little bit of a shorter video, kind of mismatch. I just, I really wanted to show this mechanism because I think it's cool. I think it deserves a lot of credit. Um, you know, again, best builds video. I'll link that in the description down below. Looked at a creation, had this on it. Amazing. Tons of people have made them on the workshop. It's a super, super cool device. And, uh, you know, we're just starting to get back into cool mechanical stuff. These are going to be amazing for building vanilla piston engine powered things that can just go super fast. Like, I mean, this will let us ramp up speeds. And I mean, look at this. This is awesome. This is torque versus speed. Torque wins.
But in speed challenges, we're gonna need this setup. It's gonna be great. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, let me know if there's other cool mechanisms. I went down, I like I said, I went down a, a wiki like kind of rabbit hole and was looking at a bunch of different four bar mechanisms. And there's some really cool stuff we could recreate in scrap mechanic. And a lot of it applies to some real life mechanisms as well, which is super cool. So let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time. We're just dominating. This is ridiculous. I can't believe how well this works.